Hey everyone, Spicy Toast Gaming here. Hope you're having a great day and I hope this video can make it a little bit better. Today we're going to be testing out our Vex and giving them a preliminary ranking for our six star tier list that we're going to be doing later this week, hopefully. Now for this tier list, we're ranking the champion considering that they are maxed out, all the best relics, constellation completely done other than like the gemstones and also really comparing the six stars. So for Vex, when an enemy dies outside of combat, grant other enemies gloom. This works out very well for you. Because while this isn't necessarily as impactful as many of the other six stars, it pairs really nicely with what you're already trying to do with a Vex, because this has the same requirement as your fourth star of just when an enemy dies outside of combat. Here you're damaging the enemy nexus, but here you're granting all the enemies gloom. And so you can actually chain kills together of you kill one unit, they grant all the enemies negative one one that could kill another unit and then trigger the same effect. So with this, you really can snowball with Vex and it does make her feel much more powerful. Now for the build we're going with today, we're going for big guns, echoing and hidden tome. I really like this. It's a very general build with Vex, very simple, giving you a lot of powers. So even if your Vex isn't on the board, you're still getting a lot of bonuses. But with the Echoing Spirit, you're probably going to get your Vex. Big Guns giving you some extra damage, making you get some more gloom from your second star power. Hidden Tome lets you play more spells when you just play into your champions. And with the Echoing Spirit, we can play a bunch of Vex's Glares which gives us a bunch of gloom application as well as extra draw, which is quite nice. Now, instead of the Viego adventure where we've been testing most other people, we're also clearing this week's weekly nightmares. So for today, we're going for the 4.5. So we have Oceans first. When either player plays a spell, give their weakest ally elusive. Suffer, round start, deal three to all the player's damage units and the deadly. Now, Vex isn't necessarily great here it's not like she has some special synergy with any of these powers but we're still trying to show her off and compare her to kind of the ranking of many other champions while also trying to show off this week's weekly nightmares now if you appreciate all the daily content a like and subscribe is greatly appreciated and let's get into it all right when you summon a one cost grant it to two these are just gonna die pretty quickly we really want to focus on our spells not our units we have six rerolls. I think let's try another one. Hextep Observatory would be nice. We could play a spell. We can then refill our mana. Yeah, that'll be pretty good for us. And let's go for Glory Seeker. Honestly, we can get rid of pretty much all these. We know we're going to draw an extra copy of Vex. Hello, Sniper for life. I think let's open up with this, make them have to play another, another card. All right, so we could drop this and gloom that. All right, not too bad. Some early damage down. Already got a kill. I think we'll drop this here. Especially since for one, we get to play it for free. All right, we'll drop our Vex, refill our mana. Yeah, I like this as just a very general Vex build. All right, everything's going pretty well here. We'll be able to attack and end the game. All right, we just need them to play something. GG. I guess we'll go for Wallop. We'd like to get some AoE spells if we can. Alright, so again, not really getting anything, but Seraphine we could drop for free, so that's not terrible. Rek'Sai we also kind of drop for free in another way. I think we'll go here and shop. Yeah, shop will be pretty good. Yeah, let's go for the hunters. Let's get rid of the hex technician. We can hold on to the rest. It's nice to have two copies of Vex. For one, we want to drop them, and then we want to be able to play one of their champion spells. All right, again, I love being able to use this round one just to give them the priority. So here... We don't actually need to kill this because it's going to die at the end of the round. I think let's just drop Grotesque Gift. And sure, Inspired Plans. Uh, we could attack. 
Kind of don't care though. Already? I'd rather be anywhere than here. Well, it's kind of one issue is we need the enemy to have units for us to attack them or try to kill them. Since most of our damage comes from our explosive finale. I, I guess we'll just attack. Alright, so we could immediately drop that and kill it, but we have all these glares. My weekly is Tom Kench, Draven, and Elise. Interesting. Uh, let's see what we get for the invoke. We don't really need the life steal. Another person to invoke? Sure. Now they see who I truly am. Yeah, we do have just a crazy amount of control, which is quite nice. Uh, let's go for pastry so we get the... Or we'll go for the pie toss so we get the pastry. Yeah, pretty much anything they play, they're just getting <laughs> absolutely annihilated. Uh, let's go for the wallop. Alright, if only we had another unit to kill. Oh look, another unit. So that would do a good amount, but honestly, it doesn't really matter at this point. Although it would give us double, double elusives. Let's just attack and end the game. GG. Guess we'll go here since we already have it in our deck. That is okay. Let's try to get some fun spells here at the shop. Make our glare cost one less. That's not too bad. Sure, we can pick that up. I think let's do one reroll just to see if we get something like the blades dance pa dance power. Ah, eh, whatever. Don't really care about that. We really want some spells. All right, a free bottled constellation. That's pretty good. One of the best things to get in the entire game. Man, we're still like, seriously getting like no removal spells. Uh, that's fine. Okay, whatever. Another shop there. Round start the foe refills three spell mana. I think Burblefish might have a good amount of small units. Let's go ahead and go here. Um, this is okay. Man, we got all of the inspired plans. Okay, I guess. All right, that's fine. All right, let's go ahead and drop this here. We could use our wallet, but I think we'll save that. Nice. All right, pretty good opening hand. And yeah, like we figured, they did have a good amount of small units. Listen well, the water speaks through me. Uh, sure, we'll just kill that. It'll refill our mana. So it's not like playing that makes it so we can't play our Vex. Yeah, I figured the purple fish was gonna have all these small units. Alrighty. Yeah, Vex does just get a crazy amount of control as you get higher up. And the more units they have, just the better.
Also, I love the fact you get so much draw going. Alright, let's go ahead and attack like this. This week 6.5 is so easy for Aesol. Uh, not really for my region, necessarily. Uh, 4 damage to a follower, not bad. For my region, it's not really gonna happen. <laughs> I like how they summon it, it just immediately dies. Also, yeah, the fact that Vex doubles your damage, so good. Thank you for giving us more units. Uh, we could drop this already. They might play more, but they could get an attack in. And if they attack, we'll heal. Okay, thank you. GG. All right, more draw on our wallop. Not terrible. So yeah, we can go ahead and get that. All right, hopefully we get something good here. Crow Storm is okay. We'll get the Blades Dance just in case we can get the other power where we generate one of these every single round. So that could be really good. Yeah, I don't think we'll even get this. I think we want to save our rerolls. Do we care about getting more copies of this? Not necessarily. We really just want to get the power that has uh, this going off. So yeah, I think we're fine. Let's go for the healer. I think we might cut the inspired plans, but it does give us some more spells. Yeah, we probably never want to play Grim, so we can get rid of that. And let's go for Poppy. All right, let's give it a beefcake and family reunion. We can hold on to the other two. Yeah, Bouncing Blades is the power that gives you this every round. And yeah, it's technically Blade's Edge. We really want them to have a unit. And the only things we can play... I mean, I guess we'll just do the damage straight to the Nexus. Alrighty. All right, let's go here to pop the Spell Shield. Sure, let's just do this to kill their units. It's a little overkill. Uh, draw two, grant them fleeting. We can go for horror stories, I suppose. Yeah, our units are never the star of the show here. Uh, let's go ahead and drop this, play it for free because of our observatory. Just kill their poppy. Alright, get some nice damage down. Hopefully they play something, like play a unit. And then we'll just work on killing it. Actually, I suppose we can just do this. Uh, Alright, GG. Alright, let's see. Yeah, we can go for the, the Deathless. That's fine. All right, hopefully we can get the Blade's power. No, let's do a reroll. So spells costing one less isn't bad, but we're not really struggling for mana. I guess we get Evolution. It is a really good power, but it's all about your units we don't really care about. Uh, let's go up here for Tenor of Terror for the Spells Chest. Uh, we'll drop this here. Why deny Spell Slinger? Because a lot of our spells already cost nothing. We don't need it, sadly. Uh, let's see. Yeah, nothing's a dragon, but we can give this 
challenger. Like, we're literally ending the first round with, like, full mana. And we have multiple ways to refill mana. Yeah, it's not really anything that's going to be helpful for us. I think let's actually just get rid of... Get rid of Seraphine. Does joystick work in this game? I have no idea. Hello, Dre. Oh, that wouldn't be too bad. Let's drop this here, killing all of them. Solid damage down. Beautiful. Ah, oh, I should have used my family reunion. Oh, well. GG. Uh, let's go for Static Shock. That'll be pretty good. I have almost no AoE spells at this point. Sure, champion draw. Yeah, that's fine. All right, not exactly what we're looking for. Existential Dread can be okay. Getting Farsight on that also isn't terrible. Let's leave and see. Okay, so there's another shop up there. Epic Champion node, though. I think we'll try a reroll. Sure. I think let's buy one copy of this. So Epic Champion doesn't sound bad, but I think we'll go here just to see if we get the Blade's power. And we have enough gold that we'll be able to buy it, so let's go for Legion Marauder. Uh, let's get rid of Wallop. And even Inspired Plans. Uh, let's just go ahead and drop this right away, especially since we can play it for free. Although we should maybe wait for them to play another unit, because they'll potentially just drop another Marauder. Yeah, like that right there. I like how we're just getting so many kills from those Marauders. Love to see it. All right, let's drop this here. Get some of these inspired plans going. All right, solid damage. And as always, I have guides up for like all the champions, so that can always help as well. Uh, I think we'll actually take the hit. We don't necessarily want to kill it. At least not without getting... getting some damage on their Nexus. So killing them in combat is not really what we want to go for. And yeah, we can just heal up with this. GG. Alright, let's get Pi to Haas. Yeah, Nami does have one of the best one stars in the entire game. <laughs> or first stars. Yeah, we'll grab our Pytos. Alright, let's see if we can get the, the power we're looking for. We cannot. Sad. But those are both pretty good. So let's actually get both of these. This one is a bit expensive, but I think it's fine. Alright. Let's go for healer. I think let's cut the inspired plans. Even though we're normally playing it for free, we just rather draw other things. And let's go for Caitlyn. Alright, this looks pretty good. What you like to see with the Vex, just a whole bunch of spells. Alright, so since this is one of our more expensive spells, we will drop this here. And then these are now free, so let's go ahead and try to just get as much damage down as possible on their Nexus. Alright, pretty good.
All right, so round one, and they are almost dead. We just need to kill two of their units, and we'll be fine. Suppose we'll drop Vex, because she'll double our damage. All right, we'll go right here. We don't want to kill them in combat. All right, this will be game, because this will give us uh, some damage, and then we can just use this straight to face. GG. All right, Vex is very good. She goes to being one of the kind of best control champions when you get her maxed out. You get so much extra damage both on the enemy units, also damage on their nexus. You apply Gloom so much better with your six star and you can just cascade kills. Everything comes together very, very well. Your abilities already do a ton of damage from the extra damage modifiers you can get on all of your spells that you pick up during the adventure. But then when Vex levels, she then also doubles your damage as long as she's on the board. So doesn't really matter how big the enemy units are. You can still often just one shot them even against some of the toughest opponents in the game. So Vex is very, very good. I don't think I've ever really struggled in a single match once she's at six stars. Goodness. So I'll pull up the constellation here. Let's take a look. All right, so here's Vex. I think most people are fine with her going up into the S tier. I think still probably closer to the bottom of S, but yeah, I think most people are wanting her there. What are you guys thinking? Personally, I don't find her six star that impactful, but she's strong with everything together. I don't think her six star is the most impactful part of her kit or most impactful part of getting the constellation. I think the explosive finale and the extra four damage on your spells, I think both those upgrades are more impactful, but the six star is really good. The fact that you can be, just be spreading gloom every time you kill a unit, it does help quite a lot. I got six star Vex. To be honest, she doesn't look as powerful as Swain and Viego. I would agree. That's why I'm immediately putting her at the bottom of S because... I think Swain and Viego are going to be above her. Why is Kaisa X S tier? Because six star Kaisa is very, very good and not champion reliant and very consistent. I can clear all content, but on the 6.5 weekly, sometimes I have to restart a few times. S seems a bit high. I have her six star. It helps, isn't as crazy as Kaisa in my opinion. Put her in the top of A. Uh, so this is about the maxed out champion not just we're not just ranking the six star because yeah if it was only the six star power itself then yeah vex would be a lot lower because her six star is not that Im as impactful as many others put her at the top of a i could see that so let's maybe move some of these down and yeah i could see her there it is it is very good lower than kaisa still s tier all right let's do i think let's do a quick little pull then there we go. There's the there's the button. All right, so let's do a quick little poll just to see if people would prefer think she should be better at like bottom of S tier or like the top of A tier. What's the criteria? Just how well they can consistently clear nightmares. I mean, it's not specifically for nightmares. It's just how strong do they feel compared to other champions? Like generally, yes, nightmares are the hardest content in the game, but it's just how they do deal with content overall. How do they feel against some of the other other units? All right, so yeah, right now, most people are just saying top of A. All right, so we'll leave her here for now then. And as always, all these rankings, when we do our full six star tier list, we will reevaluate everyone. But this is kind of just preliminary as we're kind of getting this sorted out. The only one voted bottom of S? Yeah, apparently. All right, so we'll put Vex there and let's go ahead and move on.